Coming from a Flames fan, must be nice to be able to re-sign your American stars to long-term extensions, eh, Ottawa? And make no bones about it, Jake Sanderson is a star in the making here for the Ottawa Senators, and I believe that he's going to be competing with Thomas Shabbat for who can be the best defenseman on the entire team. But in his press conference, he said something that was very interesting. Have a listen. We're going to win in the next couple years, we know that, so... Um and I want to be here for, so. So I heard that, and I was like, what? You do you mean you're going to win in a couple of years? Yeah, right. The Sens always disappoint. There's always huge holes in their lineup. There's no way they're going to win. What are you talking about? They might not even make the playoffs again. But then I started thinking about it. Tim Stutzla got 90 points last year, okay? He, he's not coming anymore. He's here, and he's a superstar. If you could build the perfect NHL captain in a lab, you might come out of there with Brady Kitschuk. He's like the perfect leader, and if he can be anything like his brother in the playoffs, oh boy. A healthy Vlad Tarasenko is not a disappointment like a healthy Vlad Guerrero Jr. He could give you 20 to 30 goals, if not more. Josh Norris missed almost all of last season for Ottawa, and make no mistake about it, he's one of the most important players on the entire roster, as we saw last year when he was missing, and he's still unbelievably underrated. And speaking of underrated, Drake Batherson does not get talked about enough for how much of a talented sniper he is. I think Ridley Gregg is going to end up being one of the best middle six players in the whole league this year, and he's going to keep developing and growing. That's a real good player there. And Shane Pinto, this guy's so sneaky good that rumor has it, Boston might be swiping left on Mark Scheifele and Elias Lindholm so they can say, hey, this Shane Pinto guy, we want to try and acquire him to become our number one center of the future. Obviously, the defense is stacked with Shabbat, Chikrin, and Sanderson all locked up. And then finally, the goaltending, which was like the biggest issue for Ottawa the past couple of years, they got Jonas Corposalo, who was very good for LA and for Columbus, and Anton Forsberg as a 1B or even in a backup role. You're laughing at that point. That is awesome. And you look at their division. Yes, there's perennial powerhouses in Tampa and Toronto, and Florida is a team to look out for, and teams like Detroit and Buffalo got better. But I think Boston's going to have an ugly season, and I think that there's some opportunity, whether it's wild card or maybe a team like Florida who's going through some injuries. Ottawa's got a chance to pounce here. And then when you get in the dance with guys like Brady Kachuk, Tim Stutzla, Josh Norris, Thomas Shabbat. Hey, this could get serious real quick. I don't know, man. This just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, whoa, Ottawa's going to be really good this year. <laughs> like, this stuff Jake Sanderson's saying about winning in a couple of years here and even being really competitive this year... I think it's true, man. I mean, I'm all for Ottawa here. I think they're going to make some serious noise this year. I know this core group is yet to make the playoffs, so for a lot of people, it's like, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm believing it right now, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.